Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale set in the enchanting town of Lunenburg. Picture this, a winter festival bursting with colors and sounds, lights flickering between ancient stone buildings. But beneath this vibrant facade, an ominous shadow lurks, hinting at a malevolent spirit from the town's past. Our heroes, Finn, Lila, and Jasper, stand at the edge of the town square, their hearts pounding in rhythm with the distant drums and children's laughter. They're on a mission, and the weight of it presses against them like a heavy cloak. Buckle up, because this chapter is about to take you on a roller coaster ride through history, mystery, and a confrontation with the supernatural. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where the young hero steps up to lead. Finn, with his tousled brown hair and bright green eyes, feels a surge of determination. He spent countless hours in the library, poring over dusty tomes and digital archives, piecing together the fragments of Lunenburg's past. Today, Finn is not just a curious boy, he's a leader. We need to rally the townsfolk, remind them of their history, and confront the spirit together. Finn declares, his voice steady despite the tremors of fear in his stomach. It's a pivotal moment, folks, where history and courage collide and Finn is ready to take the reins. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Lila, with her long dark hair swaying, feels the familiar tug of her emotional connection to the supernatural. The festival has always been a time of joy for her family, but the shadow of tragedy looms large. We can't let fear dictate our actions. We must show them that the spirit is not just a tale to be whispered about in the dark. She urges, her expressive brown eyes reflecting a fierce resolve. Lila's determination is palpable, and her words resonate with the urgency of their mission. It's a moment where personal history and collective destiny intertwine, and Lila stands ready to face the challenge. But what if I told you, Jasper, tall and spiky-haired, adjusts his glasses, the weight of skepticism still clinging to him like a second skin. Yet, as he looks at his friends, he feels the stirrings of belief. If we can communicate with the spirit, maybe we can help it find peace. We need to use everything we've learned from the book. He adds, his voice gaining strength. Jasper's journey from doubt to belief is a testament to the power of friendship and knowledge. It's a classic tale of transformation, where the skeptic becomes the believer, ready to face the unknown with newfound courage.